Eivor, what a pleasure to see you. Oh dear, it feels like it's been so long. Valka, my friend. You're most welcome here. Are you well? Better than well. I am present. And your mother? My mother has found her peace at last. She walks through a world seen only in dreams, and will forevermore. That is all any of us can hope for. Indeed. Come. How was your passage? Exhilarating. The waves and the wind were with us from the start. We flew like seabirds. And how are you? In spite of your stoic look, there is a brightness in your eyes that warms me. It may be a kind of hope. A settlement is growing. The people are happy and I am looking forward to more. And your visions? They come and go. But leave all that aside. Let me help you with your things. This way. We found a fine spot for you at the foot of the hill. Every hour we traveled, I tried to conjure in my mind some vision of this place. And how close were you? I saw the trees, and the water, and the rolling hill. But I could not foresee so much green. It is a magnificent and calming color. A balm for sea-salted ice. Volka! Godzebo, what brings you? Hope there isn't a curse on the settlement or some such. Ha! <laughs> the only curse on this place is their great lout of a blacksmith. It is a rare feeling to travel across the sea and still find oneself at home. This place feels powerful, alive. Do you foresee great things for us? No need for foresight. I feel it in my heart. Is that Valka I see? What took you so long to follow? Wanted to ensure the place was up to snuff. We must talk again soon, Randvi, once I'm settled. And before my arms fall off, what is this I'm carrying? My heaviest reagents, of course. Lead, whalebone, flecks of gold. Put this one to honest work. That is what I like to see. All these people you have brought here. This life you have built on these stranger shores. Does it please you? It does. To know that I have built this place and kept these people safe is a gift. You speak first of yourself when I ask this question. Which says more than you intend, I think. Salve, Eivor. Ad Meliora. Good day. And who is that fellow? I have no idea. Well, the town must be bustling. You see there? Your home is just ahead. Tell me about your visions. They are as they have always been. Little has changed, save their clarity. With every return, the things I see feel less like dreams and more like memories. And does the old father still appear before you? From time to time, yes. He speaks to me as well, but... It feels mad to say such things aloud. I understand. You can put those just there, thank you. And here we are. Lovely, just as you promised. As soon as I am set up here, we can return to the matter of your visions. Valka, please. You are touched, Eivor. A conduit for godly tidings. Please, let me help. I may know a way to clarify these visions. An elixir that may open the door of your mind into the realm of the gods. If you think it would help, I can finish your home myself. Only give me some time. I would be grateful. 
Thank you, Eivor. Of course. And welcome home. Looks like something is happening near Volka's hut. Perhaps I should take a look. Anything to help you feel at home. I am most at home helping others. May we return to the subject of your visions? We could, if you think it worth something. I need one more ingredient to finish an elixir for you. Look around the pond there. You will find what I require. Once brewed, this elixir will help you dive deeper into your visions, to see them more clearly. have the plants you need. Good, good. Once added to the elixir, it will be ready to drink. In taking this, you will have access to the All Father's wisdom. You will walk the path of Odin and live as he lived so long ago. Prepare yourself for a journey into another time, another plane. The elixir is ready. It will taste like misery itself, but it will open your mind to the sights and sounds of the Nine Worlds. The prophecies of the Nornir are as clear as daylight. The Aesir are doomed. All Asgard is doomed. Repeat the last passage. Brothers will fight one another and kill one another. The home of the gods turns red with gore. It will be an age of storms. An age of wolves. Not this. Further along. The foretelling of a wolf, a great beast. The wolf Fenrir 
howls terribly before the gates to hell. The beast will break its bonds and run. And my part? What about me? Then comes the second great sorrow. When the Harvey goes to fight the wolf. And falls to Fenrir. And falls to Fenrir. It's there, you see? You have foretold my death. Your Harvey will die. We speak what we see. We know your fate. Your destiny. Have you gleaned enough, O oh wise one? You three spin our destinies as a thread in fabric, but threads may be unraveled by snags and catches. Not all can be foreseen, but loose threads can be rewoven or restrung. At day's end, the tapestry will be preserved. I am no string to be plucked or tied. I am the High One, the Lord of Ecstasy, the enemy of the Wolf. I am eternal. Riddled words only cloud my thoughts. The storm is brewing. Not in the clouds, but down below. Does our final battle draw near? Is this how Ragnarok begins? It's a strategy to deal with these invaders, Thor. You cannot smash your way. Who is balls? We are as guardians. We don't skulk around like elves. We fight! We are fighting. For our homes, for our people. But some problems can't be solved with the hard end of a hammer. Name one. Harvey, break our stalemate. What's this? Another invasion? Warriors from Jotunheim. They attack from all fronts. While we sit on our trembling hands and scratch our bums. Not so, Thor. Many Aesir have been sent to the four corners of Asgard, leaving we four to defend the Great Hall. Havi, lend me a score of your warriors and I will lead them into Jotunheim myself. We cannot afford such a loss. The Ain Harriar must hold back to defend our city. I would bring them here, to hold the Great Hall itself. This invasion is too large to spread ourselves around. All this prattle solves nothing. Battle or death! Silence! All of you! We will take the fight to the enemy before they cross the Bifrost. Well said, Ravenfeeder. Name those who may fight beside you. I need only one. You, Thor, Lord of Thunder. Together we will cripple the enemy before they grow too bold. Rouse every warrior who can hold axe or hammer. We're hunting Jotnar heads! The rest of you, stay back to protect the Great Hall. Were any creatures among the Jotnar? Dragor, trolls, or wolves? What troubles you, Havi? Does your far side tell you something? More invaders! They gather at the Bifrost Bridge! Where's Loki? He should be guarding that door! Warn the others. The fight begins. Ein Harriar! Here is the battle you died to attain! For Heavy and for Asgard! Jotunheim 
scum! Welcome to your doom! <gasps> Warriors, with me! The rest of you guard the Great Hall. I'm not dreaming. With me, I gift this battle to myself. Bring the heavy your blades! We will drown our enemies in blood! to Jormund Gander. Kill the Asher! Burn the hole! What's that? You've done us no favors either, Jotun. Wait, no. You're, you're mistaken. Uh, uh. Harvey. I found this one lurking in the shade, shying from battle. Shall I extract some teeth to get him talking? Or pluck out an eye? You were told to guard this portal, Loki. What happened? The portal opened, and these soldiers came bleeding through. So I sent warning straight away. And I captured this one, the soggy jowled sheep herder. <laughs> What's your name, stranger? I am called the Builder by most. She wants your name, not your trade. If I have another name, it's not within my memory. Builder it's been for as long as I've been... building things. Do you come from Jotunheim? I do. Or I did. That is to say, I passed through. But I am not of that place, which pleases me well, for I hated it. Had you any dealings there? As a builder, yes. For a time, but they took a dislike to my methods, which are, shall I say, magical in nature. Harvey, when someone gifts you a horse, you ride it. I put a bridle on this one. Is that right, Builder? Are you a gift horse, or a secret curse? Neither, I one. I am only a tool. One with hopes to be well used. This portal has been a source of misery for some time. I want it sealed. With respect, this is not the only way the Jotnar can enter Asgard. May I propose a more encompassing solution? Quite. 
quite a coincidence that you came when you did, at the tail end of a brutal attack. That I came when I did was by design. I have been among your enemies for so long, I know how they hunger for your demise. If you doubt me, I could offer a demonstration. A demonstration, yes. And if he fails to impress, we hoist his skin as a sail. I'll accept these terms, with the last condition. I would need water from your well of Urthur. What do you know of our sacred well? It's a place of great power and vital magic, a source of spirit. It's the water there that will power your shield. I'll collect the water, Harvey. Keep this one clear of our sacred sites. Loki, halt. I will go to the well. You must find this builder a clearing for his display. No, no. It's no trouble, Harvey. The damp and the dark appeal to me. Go with the Builder, then return to the Great Hall with news of our next step. As you command. An interesting offer. A curious coincidence. But I wish there were more! <laughs> the sky itself shatters before your might, Thor. Death to all you God! Asgard belongs to the Aesir! <laughs> the Well of Urd. Not even I know all your secrets. <clears throat> the sunstone has been moved. The light's path has shifted. <clears throat> These caves run deep. Needhog and his serpents have been busy. Loki said you'd be here. He told me of the Builder's request, an offer that gives me great worry. Why was this passage blocked? Has someone been here recently? Do you hear me, Javi? This Builder is a stranger to us. We know not what he intends. I am the King of Asgard, Tyr. Do not question my desire to protect her. Calm, old friend. What's needling you? The Nornir told me I would die at Ragnarok. They described the scene of my passing. All but a few will perish in the final battle. We know this. Yet we will die well. And live again in great and glorious tales. I will need your strength in the coming days. To anchor me. To challenge me. To pull me back from the abyss, should I teeter. And I will. As long as breath fills me. So I must caution you. Step with care in this place. What happens here may ripple through the fabric of the Nine Worlds. The well is sealed. Someone labors to keep me out. Perhaps it is meant as a warning. I will take it as a challenge. I recall there being more light in here. 
These sunstones are meant to guide the light, but the path has been diverted. You've done this before, Harvey. Once or twice. The light has found its mark. The stone is lit. I doubt the Nornir will appreciate our visit. The curious are not welcome here. We'll have come and gone before they feel our presence. Well is open to us. I will lead. <laughs> Take what you need and do it quickly. We should not linger. this little pup. You shouldn't be here. Where are you? There's no wolf alive I can trust. Harvey, stop! Out of my way, Tyr! I'll suffer no wolves in Eskadir. This is a sacred place. Killing here is forbidden. You know this, Harvey. your mind flat you? You act as though possessed by the spirit of another. I am the many in the one tier. The yellow, the spear charger, the masked one. I am Longbeard and Shaggy Cloak. I am the wanderer and the striver, and now I am the foe of the wolf. Nothing can change this now. Whatever mind drives you, Harvey, you mustn't kill here. Shed no innocent blood in this sacred place. Take this beast. I want it caged. I would have every wolf and dog in Asgard caged if I could. To ease your troubled mind, I will do as you ask. We need you focused for the coming war. Thank you, Courage Bringer, for your steady hand. When one descends this deep, there's no going back up. 
Then the only way is further down. You entered the well, did you not? And you found what you were looking for? I have a skin of sacred water, yes. Is the Builder preparing his demonstration? How did the well look? Peaceful? Calm? Quiet? What are you driving at, Loki? Driving at? I'm only curious. The well is a wondrous place. I wish I could see it for myself. There was a wolf cub with us. Trespassing on sacred ground. But Tyr took care of it. Took care of it? Is he dead? The wolf lives, but Tyr will cage the beast at his hole. I want no free wolves in Asgard. Ah, yes. Good. A wise decision, Harvey. I wanted to kill it, but Tyr stayed my hand. Tyr is pragmatic. And it serves him well. You should heed him more often. Now tell me plainly. Where is the Builder? In a meadow not far from here. Your raven may find the way. We found the perfect spot. Did you bring the water? As promised. Wonderful. As it blends with my paint, its magic will power the runes of protection that I hear inscribe. No rune will protect you from my wrath if I catch you playing games. A perfect mix. Wait, what are you doing? Harnessing hooker magic to bind my spirit to these enchantments. It amplifies the strength. Hooker magic? You learned this from the Jotnar? They practice a form of hooker magic, but this is my own technique. And it's just about done. Could you lend a hand and bring me a few jars of paint? As many as you can. Be careful with that jar. It's fragile. Easy. Remember, just place it. Don't break it. Do take care. We can replace the paint, but the time to prepare it is lost. well enough. Exactly the right spot. What now, Builder? Perhaps you should move out of the way. Atop that rock, the view will be much better. <laughs> there. Will that do? It will indeed. Hold, hold. And there it is. A thing of beauty. The runes you painted conjured this shield? They did. And if all goes well, it will protect your allies and roast your enemies. Show me. With pleasure. Draw some invaders out from the woods and into the shield. Alive, of course. They must be alive. The barrier will not harm me as I cross. You have my word, Harvey.
wandered so far from the tree Yggdrasil. Am I so fearsome that you hide like mice in a farmer's field? Dane, the lifeless one. Why has this noble stag wandered so far from the tree Yggdrasil? The sight of this majestic creature gives my own heart wings. I will follow in the same spirit. Look at that, like moths to a flame. Come, you fatherless curse! I am one and you are many. What have you got to lose? The fools, they run towards their doom. Your shield is failing, Builder. They're passing through! I can't believe you! They should be dead! Hold them off while I try to restore it! What now, Builder? Your shield has failed! Not at all! I just need to make some adjustments! Builder, your shield summons an army, but it is as weak as your word. Curse you! This is not what you promised. Never mind that now. They're coming for all the No shame in being patient. <laughs> Done for us now. I should have let Loki have his way with you. You need to fix this now. I see you as fast as I can. smooth as I had hoped. But the means can be forgiven when the end bears fruit. A sour fruit, not as sweet as you promised. It held. The shield worked wonders. It worked well enough. Impressive, but unstable. Don't fear, my friend. The problem is no more. I have mixed the proper solution. With enough materials and the right incentive, I pledge to build a tower so tall it would shield all of Asgard. Materials we can find, that's no issue. What incentive do you mean? Oh, just a trifle. Nothing grand. I only want Freya as my wife and queen. You name an impossible price builder. Is that your trick? Aim high to land somewhere in the center? I don't haggle like a common fishmonger, Harry. I desire Freya with all my heart. So ask yourself, is one marriage a fair exchange for the salvation of Asgard and its people? Freya is not mine to barter like a bale of wheat. I will ask her what she desires. Do what you must, but my price stands firm. No Freya, no shield. I have no other needs. And you have no other friends, so tread lightly here. Look at the size of this beautiful creature. Impressive, isn't it? Clear eyes, strong haunches. It must come from powerful stock. You fools. It could swallow the moon next month if it continues to grow like this. I know your mind, Harry. But this wolf is not your enemy. The signs of Ragnarok, when it comes, will be clear for all to see. Tyr, you roll bones in a game you do not understand. That may be. 
but I'll assume the risk. If there's a price to be paid, I'll pay it. It's the Jotnar that trouble us now. Have you spoken with the Builder? The Builder, yes. Is Freya nearby? She's teaching Thor about organizing armies. A battle they're both losing. Come along then. You must all hear what I have to say. spoke with the Builder. You saw his work. I did. And the These markings water. are your warriors. Enough of this sorcery, woman. Just point me towards the enemy and I will handle them. Havi, you look troubled. The Builder gave me a demonstration of his magic. He conjured a shield that killed invaders on contact. That would do well for us. But your expression says otherwise. I fear the price is too high. What does he want? You. Me. Does he take us for slavers? I will smash his skull till he shits out brains! Now hold on, everyone. Let's weigh the- Do not finish that thought. What was your reply? I told him it was your choice alone. You didn't refuse him outright? I evaded his question to gain us time. Time to devise a better idea. One that does not involve selling off your queen, I trust. How about I beat on his liver till he builds us a wall for free? Might we consider... I will not barter with my body. That would be a first. Hold on. I've got it. The blunt end of my hammer on his family stones. You are overthinking this, all of you. Give this builder an impossible task, a deadline of, say, nine days. When he forfeits, as he no doubt will, Freya remains free, and we may finish his work as intended. He would be mad or stupid to agree. You underestimate men of intellect, Lord of Storms. The builder is a proud man. He won't back down from a challenge. I do not like this. Nor do I, but we must act. Loki, bring this offer to the Builder. Your will is my deed, Rune Writer. You grapple with forces outside your control. You are eager to see the deal done. We're Asir. She's Vana. Watch out! Keep your distance! The wolf! Shit! Cheer! Stand back! I'll get it! Please, please. Out of the way! The wolf is mine! Stand clear! I will catch it! I'll sharpen my axe with your teeth, beast! The size of that beast! <laughs> A worthy hunt! The final blow is mine. Do not fight the beast! Leave it to me! Are you the world? Are you my doom? Are you destined to destroy me? I am the dead walker. I am the living ghost. I cannot die. Will you do the same? I've warned you well, and look where it has led! Savi, stop! Stay, your ex!
out of my way, Loki! You swore an oath to never spill my blood. Step aside, and I won't have to. This is my blood! What? He is my son! Here, you've cared for this wolf. You will be its jailer. Take it to Lingui. Bind it there. Make sure it never leaves the island. I can speak with the dwarf, Ivaldi. May he find a more permanent solution. Come, boy. You're safe with me. Be kind, Justice Pringle. Loki. There will be a reckoning. Of this, I have no doubt. I was only curious, Dwarf. I meant no offense. I'm merely a seeker of knowledge. The Dwarves give nothing away for free. Apologies for the distraction, Master Blacksmith. I'll leave you to your work. Well, what shall I craft for you today, High One? Bottomless breaches for soiling yourself on the battlefield? Have you ever heard of Hooger magic? Harvey, my gentle jailer, you know we dwarves give nothing away for free. If you want your question answered, I'll need something in return. Such as? A hidden fact known only to you, Farseer, that I may share in your secret knowledge of the world. The sun and the moon are pulled by two horses across the day and the night skies. Skinfaxir and Hrimfaxir are their names. And each morning's dew is the fallen slobber from Heimfaxir's foaming mouth. Curious. Thank you, Harvey. So, you asked about Hooger magic? That is Jotnar business. They can move a man's mind from one place to another. But they only dabble from what I know. Like we boys playing with fire. Don't know a wick from their dick. Now if that's all you came to know, you can piss off and let me work. I have one more need. Can you forge me an unbreakable chain? Chains are overrated. One weak link and it's worthless. Let me craft a cord that Thor himself could not break. It must be strong enough to bind a powerful beast. I will sluice my sweat into this cord, Harvey. All knowledge I have and skill I own will define it. And what will I get in return? Make good on your claim and your contract is fulfilled. I smell bait. What's the trap? No trap. No triggery. Forge me this cord, and you shall be free of my service. 
Hmm. To craft such a cord, I'll need a few impossible ingredients. Name them. I the list there. I have a bear's tendon, a fish's breath, and... A cat's footsteps, and the root of a mountain. How do I find these? How the fuck would I know? The riddles will guide you. I have no patience for riddles, dwarf. Those riddles are as ancient as the world. With lore passed down from Niji and Nidi to Northri and Sudri, Austri and Vestri, Althjover... I understand. I'll return shortly. Valin, Bevor, Babur, Bongor, Nori, Adenda. Statues. Who put you up here, little cat? So that's how it is. Lead the way, Nimble One. like the right place. I swear there is the seed in the mountain's rocky grip. Some heat may free it from its shell. The seed will not sprout root until I get it into some water. Make of these evil deep. <laughs> Aha! I know what cats foot for when I. I found everything you asked for. How soon can you finish this unbreakable cord? As soon as it wants to be made. You cannot rush this kind of magic. It flows with a speed all its own. Find me as soon as it's ready. By the way, after we spoke of the Hooger, a cousin came by with his own spirit tale. I don't trust coincidence, so this one's free. What did he say? He told me his sister's husband, Borin, drank a mead brewed in Jotunheim, and it sent his Hooger into a goat. The spirit of a dwarf in the body of a goat? <laughs> Stranger still, his sister didn't even notice. Heavy! Don't drag me into this. The tower is nearly finished. Do not fret. The final hours are ticking down. Not fast enough. I feel the jaws of a trap closing upon me. Knowing you're in a trap is the first step to avoiding it. You don't care if I'm married off to this builder, do you? Have no fear, Freya. 
Whatever things transpire today, you marrying the Builder will not be among them. At least have the sense to admit you betrayed my trust. I was wrong to use you like that. I'll confront the Builder and pry the truth out of him. A limp apology, but it will suffice for now. Once the Builder is dealt with, turn your spear on Loki. Every chance he had, he dug us deeper into this mess. If Loki is up to something, I'll see to it that he's punished. Blood oath be damned. Like what you see? Quite the tower. Hmm? Not my best work, but it has a certain glow. Now then, where's my queen? You're finished? The tower is functional. One rune remains, which I shall inscribe after I am wet. Who helped you complete the work builder? You could not have managed so quickly on your own. Our agreement said nothing about outside help. Now, where is Freya? I'm tired of waiting. Outside help. Interesting choice of words. Hail, Harvey! Hail, Builder! We bring you your bride! Freya, my beloved! Why does she leer so wickedly? She starved, Builder. Hungry for you. Eager to consume you like a moist and dainty morsel. Splendid! She'll be pleased to know I have an appetite to match her own. Our union will be a feast of the senses. Enough chatter. We have upheld our end of the bargain. Will you finish your work? I'm sorry, but I've never seen such wild eyes. Why does she look so feral? Asleep or awake, her eyes swim with naught but the image of you. She's blind to all else. Blinded by love? Or disgust. I do not grasp your meaning. Quit stalling and kiss her, Dungmeat! Consummate your betrothal! Yes, a kiss. A brief taste to whet my appetite. <clears throat> Delicious! Your lips are two <laughs> pillows on a bed of rain rose petals. And yours are cold and rough as unpolished stone. What trickery is this? Is something wrong? Her voice! It's hideous! I have been told it has a seductive quality. By a wolf. Treachery! Bring me the real fray, or my offer is withdrawn! I'll bring myself, if you don't mind. Freya, you don't need to... You have to... next to nothing, Esir. Only this useless monument to your ineptitude. Uh, You've been a good boy, Thor. Don't gamble your winnings. <clears throat> and you, Havi. You tried to avoid responsibility by not making a choice. But that was a choice in itself. And look where it has brought us. We have taken you for granted. It's true. That ends now. Has this sad spectacle been for my sake alone? I've seen better drama on the festering carcass of a dead pig! Finish your work, or suffer. No Freya, no shield. To Helheim with him, Harvey. 
I know where he keeps his enchanted paint. Show me. Thor, Tyr, watch our guests closely. Freya, I hope we'll have words when this is done. Why do you still wear Freya's form? A reminder of who's at stake. Change back. This is disturbing. Where do we go now? I don't know. I didn't say I was watching him every moment. So, you don't know where he kept his supplies? They must be nearby. He never left this area. Mostly never. Sunan, guide. Found the worm's layer. Shapeshifters! More deception. The builder will suffer. Where there are guards, there are goods. There's a door for the reach. Help me smash it. Hold, Loki. We need to talk. The gods. What is it, Harvey? Loki? Did you know this builder before we met him at Heimdale's tower? Did I know him? As in friends? Or know of him? Did you invite him here? I... I did, yes. He rescued my son from Jotunheim, so I agreed to bring him here and help him find work. That's all. Make this right, Loki, or the blood oath that binds me is forfeit for you and your son, is that clear? As a cloudless sky, I want. More, dear. Go ahead. I'll watch your back. That's cold comfort. A quiet crossing. Emius blood! Loki! Slay these shapeshifters! I have the paint. Let us fade the shadows in the light. Underestimated him. On your advice, find some way to hinder his efforts, or I will offer you as his price. I live to serve, Raven Feeder. Our army returns. Stay right there, Builder. We're not finished with you. survived my trap. How disappointing. Invaders from Jotunheim. We slaughtered them all. Buris Balsak. Can I kill him now? We do not need this honor cheat. We will complete the tower ourselves. My Hugur makes it work. I am bound to it through the magic of your realm. You perverted our sacred waters. We have every reason to kill you. Well reasoned. They should call you the god of hindsight, all-knowing after the fact. I will finish the inscription. Builder, you stay with me. You others, go. Elhas, for protection. You 
godless worm. Slayer of my kin. Oathbreaker. Spirit taker. I didn't build this tower to keep your enemies out. I built it to keep you in. You thought you could slay my people without punishment or price? You and your slab had it son. Their lives were the price of their arrogance. But you do not control them. Control them. I only wish to survive them. Your bones will form the cornerstone of a new world ruled by Yota. Your time has passed. There is no turning back the seasons. If our doom is assured, I will ensure that you share it. Is the Yotan dead? And his magic dies with him. Does that worry you, Trickster? What are you implying? Were you behind this? You dishonorable truth tangler. What do you know of honor, Freya? You've bedded more men than all the halls in Midgard. You're a fine one to talk of sexual appetites. You fathered a wolf cop. I'll not hear a lecture from the Lord of Petty Rules, who stiffens at the thought of laying down the law. And before you threaten to brandish your hammer, Thor, remember, without it, you'd be no better than a troll. Only twice as stupid. Oh. You festering ball sack, swollen with the foulest drippings of Ymir's corpse. No oath is worth this abuse. But you won't break it, Harvey. You cannot. All your efforts to evade destiny will only fling you further along its course. If you're not careful, you may be the author of your own destruction. <laughs> Leave him. He'll do little harm while his son remains captive. A mouthful of iron would put a stop to his babbling. What now, wise one? We have returned to the place from which we set out. Ragnarok is coming, and we are no safer. There may be a solution in Jotunheim. Hooger magic, they call it. I'll travel there to see it for myself. Until I have the final binding, Loki's son must not leave that island. In time, it shall serve as a sanctuary for all wolves. I will watch over him, as one of my own kin. Then I leave the realm in your capable hands, my queen. If my own are empty when I return, I will accept destiny with both. Welcome back. Your face is bright, and your eyes seem clearer. Tell me of everything you have seen. 
I... I have been to Asgard, the seat of the gods. I saw through Odin's eyes, just as you said. In every vision, I inhabited his form, lived as he once lived. In his body, I was myself. But I was carried by his whims. His thoughts were as known to me as my own. We were two, but we existed as one. And what have you learned? More than learned, I felt. I felt everything. His fears and doubts, his loves and passions. Incredible. What else? I consorted with Loki, the trickster. We quarreled often, as siblings. But soon our fights grew dark. When he revealed he had sighed a wolf cup, my rage was unbound. Because he had hid the truth from you? Yes. Because he knew that wolves were not allowed in Asgard, he flaunted my command. Perhaps this was the purpose of your vision. To overcome an inner fear and find forgiveness in your heart. Maybe. But before my vision ended, I was seized by great purpose. I devised a plan, a voyage to Jotunheim. And then I awoke. Interesting. Was there anything else? I heard a prophecy. Warning of Ragnarok. The destruction of the world. The end of all time. And the Nornir. He warned me of the great wolf Fenrir. And how he hungered for my blood. But there was something else. Hope. I was undaunted by the coming cataclysm. Perhaps this aspect of your vision inspires bravery. Truly, you are touched by the gods. Was there more? There was nothing more. Nothing of great significance. The dream is faded. Eivor, your visions are unlike any I have encountered. Leave me now. I must think on what you have shared.